Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I should really take my hand off the steering wheel here. I'm gonna do a video today. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm doing it on my cell phone because I drove by the lemon lot and I figured, you know what? I've been getting a lot of emails and asked questions about like, what do we do for cars when we get to Oki? So if you're PCSing to Oki, watch this video. This is for you. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm gonna do a video today, really quick one, because I know that a lot of you are PCSing and this is like if you're PCSing to Japan and you're coming to Okinawa, you're probably worried about a lot of things. Like, is there housing available on base? Uh, you know, what's the um, area like? First of all, if you don't know Japanese, it's fine. You'll pick up some here when you get here. Uh, but the real thing I wanna to talk to you about, for the most part, I wanna to talk to you about cars. And I know that in the States, like cars are jacked up, the prices are going nuts. This is from what I hear because I haven't been to the States since 2019. But so I want you to know that when you come to Okinawa, obviously you're not gonna buy a new car. You're gonna buy like an island beater or a car that holds the family or something reliable. I bought this van, but I want you to know, aside from the dealers, uh, especially like on Kadena, there's a lemon lot. And they call it the lemon lot because people that are PCSing off island or people that are leaving off island or maybe bought another car and they're only allowed two uh they sell them there and they have little sheets of information on there so here's a look at what's available as of what are we today as of june 29th 2022 here's what here's what's available on the lemon lot and to be honest with you there's a lot of selection here okay, for first of all here's a 2003 I'm sorry, 2008 X3, and they want eight grand for it. It looks like it's got like a little M package. It's not an M, but it does have navigation, and it's got like a lot of performance. I guess if if you're into performance, it says performance right there. That's really nice. And this can be had for about eight grand US. Uh, I'm not sure how many miles are on it, but this is like more of the high end. And so if you're looking for a little sporty thing, and it's just a big enough to get to roll through the streets of Oki and through the side streets and stuff. I don't think you're gonna find too much trouble there. All right, here's a 2008 RAV4 uh, and the JCI is good until March 24th. You should, uh, when you look at cars here on the Lemon Lot, make sure that the JCI is good for at least a year or two so that you're able to uh, drive the car and enjoy it without having to worry about inspection or anything uh, that it needs. And the road tax is every year, I think in April or May or April it comes in. So this is 2008, it's got 102,000 kilometers, which is about 63,000 miles. And they are asking, what are they asking? 6,500 bucks for a RAV4. It looks pretty sweet. There's no dings or anything. Uh, actually, I spoke too soon. There's a dent in the back. He must have hit a pole or something, but that's all right. It doesn't look like it affects the door or anything. Nice little RAV4 here uh, for sale. All right, so when you get here, if you need a RAV4, you got it. So here we have a 2000 Delica Space Gear. And these are awesome trucks. They're really cool because the seats in the back fold away towards the side, kind of like the Land Rovers do, so you can fit a lot of people in there. This one has the, the basket. It looks in pretty decent condition. These are worth a lot of money, and, and you will be able to import this one, I think. Um, let's see, it's 2000, so you'll be able to import it in about three or four years, I think, maybe three years from now. From what I'm saying, they want 6,500 bucks for it. Uh, I think it has over 100,000 kilometers. Uh, it looks in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of rust. And let me see, check the front here. I see a little something there. Um, but it is pretty cool. It's a good looking truck. And like I said, you could probably bring it back to the States. These are really popular on island. In fact, I've seen a few that are lifted super high. Uh, they are great uh, trucks, although you have to maintain them. I'm not sure if this is a diesel or a gasoline engine, but for 6,500 bucks, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it looks like it's set up. You can just throw all your beach gear up top, throw the kids in the back, and go on an Oki adventure. Okay, this is a 2002 Toyota Alphard. And I love the logo on the Alphard. It kind of looks like the Transformers logo. All right, cool. So they want four grand or best offer for this one. This is the family hauler. This is gonna be like the minivan. If you got like two to three kids, maybe a dog, you're probably gonna want this. Uh, I believe they all have power doors on either side. This is a good looking example. Um, I gotta find out what year this is. This is a 2002 Toyota Alphard. And so this is four grand or best offer. And here's a quick tip for you. Uh, it's always good to contact the owners. And oh, and by the way, just so you know, uh, every, every car here has to have a, a sheet approved that has a description and a phone number. And I'm not gonna go too close because I don't wanna share anybody's phone number, but it has a description with a sheet and a phone number and it'll tell you exactly 
uh, what the mileage is, what condition it is, when the JCI is due. But this is a really great van for a family. Four grand, it'll probably last you the whole three years here on island, just do oil changes and gas, you should be good to go. Here's a, two, uh, here's a 2008 Forester XT Subaru for your Subaru fans. You know what's cool about Japan? They have these, uh, the mirrors here, like on the, on the. Uh, I mean, you have your side mirror, but you also have this mirror. And what this mirror does is lets you know how close you are to the curb and how close you are uh, to hitting something or curbing your wheels. This isn't bad, it's 3,600 or best offer. Uh, we'll do a little walk around and take a look-see. Uh, most of these are gonna be cloth interior because if you get leather interior in Okinawa, you have a death wish. Because you sit on there, you're gonna leave half your butt and your thighs on the seat when you when you when you get up, or it'll sound like a fruit roll-up coming off the plastic because it gets hot here. Uh, windows are tinted, which is great, and it looks like it looks pretty clean in the back. Um, it's a 2.0 turbo charged four-cylinder automatic transmission, all-wheel drive, cruise control, plenty of storage, cup holders. It's got the CV, uh, the CD and DVD navigation with internal hard drive, so that's pretty cool. It also has something interesting, and you guys should know, it has an ETC reader. There is, uh, ETC reader is kind of like speed pass here in Okinawa, so if you go on the expressway and you're going up to Okuma or something, you don't wanna wait in line at the toll booths, you can get an ETC card that goes in the reader and it allows you to bypass the lines waiting for people with cash. Um, a lot of these things have uh, extras, like this has a 6040 uh, fold down rear seat, it's got a cargo liner, um, it's got a, uh, a roof rack, it says. Uh, I don't see the roof rack there, maybe it's inside. And it's got aftermarket uh, HID projection headlights. The JCI is good until uh, December of 2023. Again, the JCI is like the inspection, you have to do that every year. Uh, I'm sorry, you have to do that every two years when you get a car. So the further away the JCI inspection date is, the better you are when you buy a car here in Okinawa off the lemon line. I'm gonna interrupt this video for just a quick second to ask you to subscribe if you like what you're watching, if you like what you're seeing. I've done videos here in Okinawa since I got here in 2017. I've covered everything from tsunamis uh, to, sorry, not tsunamis, so that would be something, that would be a video. Typhoons, earthquakes, restaurant, that virus thing that happened. I've been covering it all since 2017, so go ahead and watch some of the old videos, especially if you're PCSing to Okinawa and you're looking for things to do. A lot of Okinawa is now opening up. They've dropped the mask mandate. If you can social distance, you don't have to wear a mask out until Town. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you do me a favor. It helps with the algorithm. It also helps other people that are coming to Oki find my videos more easily because of Google and whatever the heck the nerds do over in uh, California. So thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Let's get back to the cars. Now I want to come next to here because if you guys remember, if you watch my channel from the very beginning, you know that I had a Toyota Sienta. It was awesome. Uh, it was a, it's a three row seat car. So you got two uh, buckets in the front, a bench in the back, and the third row seat that pops up that can fit adults. It's actually more roomier than you really think. JCI is due November of 2023. Um, it has, it's in excellent condition, cold AC. Uh, these are really cool cars. Let me get away from it so you can actually see what I'm talking about. By the way, the Sientas have, a, a, usually mine had one power door. I'm not sure if this has one power door or two power doors. We might have a power door, which is really great because in the rainy season, when your kids are coming out of school or whatever and you want to get them in the car, um, the power door is just amazing. Uh, and also getting in and out is easy. Uh, they, the back is window is tinted. It's in excellent condition. It says it's seat six, two, four, six. That's about right. Uh, this car I had, uh, I sold it to get the van. It is extremely uh, reliable. It's a great deal. Not, they want three grand for this one. And it'll probably last you a while as well. Uh, let's go to another minivan. We've got a 2004 Toyota Noah with 175,000 kilometers. Now that's a lot, but they're not asking, uh, that's a lot of mileage on it, but they're not asking a lot. It's 2,500 bucks or best offer. And judging by the, uh, the, the spider web there, it's been a while since this car's been seen. Okay, so uh, it's got a little bit of uh, oaky paint rush, rash, rush, whatever. And it's, man, it's got a lot of spider webs on it. This car's probably been here a while. But if you called the owner and you said, hey, you know what, 2,500 or best offer, let's talk or best offer, you'd probably get it. Good family car. I believe these also have power doors. Uh, not sure. But again, if you're looking for a car in Okinawa and you're PCSing here, don't stress it out. There's plenty. Look, this whole lot, by the way, this whole lot is all cars for sale. Let's go down this one really quick. We'll do, this is a Mitsubishi Delica D2. It's a smaller one and they want 5,700. Uh, it's 2012, so it's gonna be newer, so it's gonna be more. This is like kind of what my wife has. This is the uh, Nissan X-Trail. It is a 2007, and they are asking 3,500 or best offer. Here's one that a lot of people love. These uh, Pajeros or Pajeros, however you call it. Uh, it's in 02. It's got, uh, let's see. Let's see how many miles are on it. It 
probably does, but I'm not gonna get too close. I don't wanna show the phone number of these people, obviously it's protect their privacy, but it looks like in pretty good condition. Not sure what they want for it. I will find out. And then this is a 2007 Delica B D5 van, four by four, six thousand dollars for best offer. It says the AC is freezing. Uh, these are actually really cool vans too, because like the uh, newer Delicas, the back seats fold up against the side, so you can put more stuff in there. Uh, six thousand dollars for best offer. JCI expires September of 2022, so that expires this September. So you probably want to get something that has a, a closer expiration date. Let's go over here because I did want to show you really quickly this one right here. It's a really nice one. It's a Toyota Velfire. It's a 2011. It looks really, really funky. I love the line on it. Uh, really cool. If I was going to get a minivan, this is the one that I would get. This one here has, let's see, 79,000 kilometers on it. It's got a moonroof and a sunroof. Uh, looks like it's got pretty newer tires. Uh, not a bad deal, of course, because it's a 2011. It's a Velfire, and that's pretty much one of the higher tiers of the minivans. They're going to want $16,000 for it. So this is the high end of what you're going to find here. Now, I want to find some uh, buys and steals, as I call them. Let me see if I can find one here for you guys. Hey guys, this one right here is a 2003 Daihatsu Naked. I am not kidding. That's the name of the car. There it is. A Daihatsu Naked, okay? Uh, it's uh, 2003 and they're asking 1500 bucks. So it doesn't say when the JCIs do. Maybe it does. I'll have to look again. It comes with roof racks. You can throw your paddleboard on there. Um, it comes uh, with these little wheels. I mean, it looks like you could take it apart. It looks like a Lego, like a Lego car. It is Jurassic rated though. So, nope. Jurassic rated, uh, the, it does not say when the JCIs do, but like I said, this is a bargain to be had, 1500 bucks, you go get insurance on it, and you're driving the same day. Not a bad deal for 1500 bucks for three years, if you're here on a three year tour or two year tour, 1500 bucks, to have a nice car that's reliable, cold AC, and possibly needs minimum maintenance, just oil changes, good to go. All right, so that's it, everyone. That's my video on the Lemon Lot, what's going on here in Okinawa if you're looking for a car. I know, and the reason I did this video is because I've gotten a lot of emails from viewers, and you can always email me a question. My email is in the description. I've got a lot of emails from viewers saying, hey, when I get there, where do I get a car? So go ahead and please um, email me if you have any questions. My email is in the video description. Like me uh, here on YouTube, like and share, and also on Instagram where I post a lot more fun stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you know anybody military activity or spouse, give them a hug or a handshake because it ain't easy. And I will see you next video. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave me a comment. Uh, drop down in the comments and say, hey, how are you? Or if you're coming here, uh, let me know you're coming here. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me and ask me. I will, uh, I'm not an expert. I will seek out expertise if I don't know the answer and I'll try to give you an answer. Sometimes I just don't know. Uh, sometimes I do know. It's just luck of the draw. Thanks everyone for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. There's like 3,000 of you. That's insane, but thank you. And I'll talk to you next video. Bye now. Keep it up, keep it up, don't let out.